one of the key skills as a trader is to learn from history and then find out what happened and use those learnings uh, in a current market or a likely market scenario. So in this video, which is going to be a long video, I'm going to look at the 2009 bottom and what happened after the 2009 bottom in terms of which stock went up uh, from the 2009 bottom. And uh, it's important because we are in a correction and what happens after correction or what kind of stocks are likely to go up, if we know, then we can proactively build methods and scans and ways to find and explore those kind of stocks. So in order to show that, let's go to the so I'm going to like, and this is a watch list which I have created, which is basically US common stock, American repository receipts and liquidity is basically, I'm looking for stocks which have traded $100,000, 100,000 shares in the last three days uh, and price is about $3, right? So it's just a list. So you got 3,191 stocks. Again, in this study, when we are doing this, many stocks which existed in 2009, 2010, uh, might have gone out of business or might have been acquired and all. So that limitation is there, but in spite of that, it's good to look at this. So here we are on a SPY and we are going to look at a period when there was a correction in the market and which was a deep correction in the market in 2009 and then the market record from this. And I'm going to essentially look at stock which made the biggest move from that particular point, right? So in order for to do that, I'm going to use custom date sort and custom date sort i'm going to be looking at approximately right so this is a period where the market went up 65 percent or something like that right so exact amount is not really important we are just going to do this but i'm going to sort by this particular thing and i'm going to add a column so i added a column and this is the period which we are looking at right and this is the period which we're looking at primarily and let's look at which stock did the best coming out of that particular correction right so if you look at this the stock which did the best the number one performing stock was sleep number stock which was really extremely beaten down stock at this particular period uh, in fact and at a very low price and you had a complete v-shaped kind of a recovery for sleep number like this right now let's look at the second and I'll look at the first 50 stocks like this uh, to show you what really happens. This is the period we are looking at. Dana Incorporated. Again, same thing. You see a V-shaped kind of recovery. You're looking at Meritor. Okay. You're going to find all these stocks with like beaten down stocks. Car, Avis Rent, uh, Budget, Avis Budget Group. Right. In fact, there was a company called Dollar Thrifty Group, which was one of the biggest winner. It was even bigger winner than car during this particular time period. But do you notice what is the situation here? They're all V-shaped recoveries, right? So if you are one of the person who's a believer, strong believer that stocks which hold up the best, especially this exercise is something which you should attempt. But many of those people are not going to attempt this because it's going to be like very difficult for them to accept the fact that what they are holding as true is not necessarily true. Uh, ATSG, again, what you see is a complete drop and a V-shaped kind of a recovery. Uh, so most of these stocks, which I made the biggest move, they were down 80, 90%, okay, Tenaco, okay, Lazy Boy, right? Uh, Glenworth. And once I go through the first 50, uh, I'll talk about okay, look, and what can you learn from this? Uh, Beezer Home, right? Uh, Modin, same, same. V-shaped recoveries. Mark Sark International, which is the paper company. Jazz Pharmaceuticals, right? This is the period which we're looking at, basically. Pixel Work, same thing, right? Uh, tech, T-E-C-K, Tech Resources, same thing. American Axel, Auto Parts Manufacturer, right? OFG, Sanmika. Sanmina, same thing here, right? Same thing which you see. So if you look at the 50 stocks which made the biggest move, all of them are showing the same pattern. And Waco, Las Vegas Sand, exactly same pattern. Uh, PRM Co, Primco Waters, Onto Innovation, and that's the 24 number stock. Compugen, UCTT, similar thing which you see. You see same thing, 
V shaped recoveries, Wanda, you should see V shaped recovery, Entra Visions, you see V shaped recovery, Ashland, you see a V shaped recovery, SSP, V shaped recovery, Next Star Broadcasting, again like an, a, some sort of a bottoming and then recovering. Not None of these moves started from the stock near 52 week high. If you notice till now, Great Television. Ferro Corporation and these are stocks which made the biggest move coming out of that particular correction. Okay, Tower Semi, Conductor, uh, ENLC, Camtech, right? Uh, Green Prince Renewable, GII Apparel Group, Nova Measuring Instrument. Same thing. Same. All of them look similar. Patrick Industries, right? Uh, SZO Marine uh, Marine Max, uh, Crocs, right? Fifth Third Banks and Brunswick Corporation, Integris, U1, Ashford Hospitality Trust, Dillard's, again same thing which you see, Century Aluminium, RDN, uh, Siri, Satellite, um, ODP, right, Kumco, and I've gone past like any 50 stocks. So you're at Lululemon and Aviant. And we can go to 100 stocks, travel and leisure. This is very important to understand because uh, this is contrary to what you are going to hear many times in the market. Sonic Automotive, uh, 2009, Site Centers Corporation, iPoint, right? And this is TGNA, Berks Group, Insight, Insight, Ford Motors, right? Uh, Skechers, again, V-shaped recovery. Right, Brookdale Senior Living again V shaped recovery, Tempura Pedic same V shaped recovery, and these are the stocks which went up 400 500 percent. Oshkosh again V shaped, Webstar again V shaped, UIS again V shaped, okay, MGM Resort again V shaped recovery, NNBR V shaped recovery, Sinclair Broadcasting V shaped recovery, Tile Interface SRI, Car Parts V shaped recovery. Photo lab, uh, phot photronics again, same thing. Camp, Arbor Realty Trust, uh, ECPG, Tenet Healthcare, Biocrest, Asbury Group, Northern Ireland Gas, a CBRE Group, SLG, all the rates which were there, ACTG, ACO, same thing. Okay, do you see a stock which held up well? Is the one which has made the biggest move after the correction was over? Insight. Exacta Science, uh, Huntington Bank Share, iStar, Calliers, whatever that is, uh, Cube, again, straight down and then recovery, AXTI, straight down and recovery, and that's the 100 number stock, Assured Guarantee Limited. So, uh, this is the reality which we saw. This is the reality which we saw that how, when a bottom is formed after a deep correction in the market, the stocks which are most beaten down are the one which make the biggest move. They make 800, 800 900, 2000, 3000 percent move. And uh, if we understand this, uh, next time there is a correction, you might be in a better position to have a right, right kind of a mind frame to look for a stock which are likely to make a big move. The reason why this happens this way is because when there is an extreme pessimism about a company and then that company surprises if you go back and look at any one of these stocks whether it is sleep number or dana or something during that time period they came out with a earning surprise uh, the market had priced them for such a low expectation when expectations are extremely low or stocks are extremely neglected and when they surprise the market they will going to make big moves uh, so that's one thing. B is really in terms of if you're going to be using momentum, when a market is coming out of a deep corrections, an anchored momentum or a momentum which anchors to the low point of that correction is a better momentum and not necessarily stocks which are holding up well. Means You can do this exercise yourself and show me stocks which held up well made the biggest move. Okay. I, I looked at 100 stocks here, which is not the case, right? So in order to profit from something like this, 
you need to have a different approach coming out of a market bottom, which is really to look at momentum differently. Uh, and what kind of scans will find these stocks? Obviously, if you're trading methods like momentum burst or episodic pivot and all, many of these stocks or most of these stocks will show up in them as a turnaround kind of an EP. This will be turnaround episodic pivot because these stocks had extremely low expectations or they were priced for very uh, bankruptcy kind of a thing and then they came out with earnings and the earnings was better than the market expected and as a result of that the stocks started going up so uh, i hope that an exercise like this will at least make you question some of the assumptions which you hear in the marketplace and those assumptions at some stage in my trading career, I also used to believe in those assumptions because that's what when you are a new trader not and you don't have the inquisitive mind or you're not a, a trader who questions basic assumptions, uh, you tend to believe a lot of things which people are telling you, right? And when you start questioning and when you start doing a study like this, what you see is totally different from what you read in a book or what you hear all the time so the stocks which hold up well don't are not necessarily the best and that's why this 2009 bottom is a very good study because it is going to tell you okay, look at the stocks the biggest winning stock sleep number here the stock was down 80 90 percent 99 percent probably 99 percent right average stock which was down 80 90 percent is the one which made the biggest moves. This was down 98%. Stocks which are down 98, 99% are the one which went on to make biggest move. Car, right? So, lesson from this is that when the market has a correction, um, especially if it becomes a longer duration correction, which is a multi-month, multi-year kind of a thing, and episodic pivot, Turnaround episodic pivot are the best performing stocks, or they're the best performing, that's the best performing setup. Uh, it's not really the growth stocks or the stocks which held up well, which are going to make a big move. Means uh, if that was the case, you would have seen them, right? And I, uh, I hope, like, you know, you're looking at this with your own eyes and questioning the assumptions. So I would say that you look at a, the hypothesis that stock which hold up well. As far as I can see from this data, unless my eyes are not right, or I'm seeing something which like other people don't see kind of thing, is a completely false hypothesis. And if you reject that hypothesis and you have a realistic understanding of how market actually operates, you might be able to profit from something like this. Turnaround EPs is one thing which is the best setup when something like this happens. So 2009 bottom, study it. Uh, it's easy to do it. Similarly, you can study any other bottom which has happened in the market when the market had a correction. You can study this bottom and also see what happened. Always, always in this business, question assumptions. Okay. Um, don't follow any guru, even if his name is easy guru. <laughs>